Before I begin this video, I just realized I need a snack. Listen to your body. Swing. I never said that was a plo. The truth is, I needed a snack before making lunch. So, welcome to Smack Your Lip, the series where I taste and or prepare beverages and or foodstuffs, share my thoughts on them. Where have I been? Editing Evelyn and Friends. Baby Glows in the Corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been editing Evelyn and Friends, I've been having personal matters, I'm getting dragged by my edges from the north to the south to the east to the west. And I have just been living life. So updates, Evelyn and Friends is coming soon. It, 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 it won't come any faster if I don't have lunch. We're gonna make a sandwich. One thing about me, I'm a sandwich girly. We're gonna get it going in a very little way. You gotta get some bolillos. Little baby baguettes, they probably have another name or you can find something similar if you don't have, you know what I'm saying, a Mexican constituency in your geographical location, a bag of about four to five of these are going to be under two dollars. Got to start off with the good bread. But I don't discriminate, right? So you can get your bread from the bakery. You can get it from, you know what I'm saying, what's her name? Minute Maid? What's the brand of bread? What? What's the brand of bread that's like uh, the factory is in Fort Worth? Mrs. Bears? Mrs. Bears. <laughs> Bolillo. Gonna take a serrated knife. You're just gonna, <laughs> you're just gonna cut your bread. Not all the way through, like to the other side, but just so you can open it and assemble your sandwich. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna like scrape some of the inside. We're gonna scrape some of the inside just so that there's more room for our sandwich fillings. It's giving Jimmy John's. It's a little hollow, as you can see. Breadcrumbs, you can eat them. You can not eat them. You're gonna toast your bread, okay? It's hard to do this one-handed. Oh, give me a second. Unfortunately, I tore up my bread, but that's okay. You're gonna toast it, you're gonna weigh it down so it actually gets crispy, or whatever you gotta do on your stove. This is not my usual stove. We're gonna come back when that's roasty and toasty. Now, while that's toasting, we are going to handle the veggies, the veg. I personally like a very veg forward sandwich. I love the contrast of the flavors, the crunch, the juiciness. I like a lot of lettuce. I like the contrasting temperatures. So you have toasty bread, but like ice cold veg. So I have chopped up some tomato, some white onion, and I'm about to chop up romaine lettuce. How the lettuce is on your sandwich, is in your sandwich, is very important. You don't just wanna, <laughs> we don't just do that. We have to do a little sum sum. We have to prepare it in such a fashion that it makes sense for the sandwich. Show yourself a little love, a little TLC. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stack your lettuce leaves, one on top of each other. Probably from like biggest or widest to tiniest, okay? Then you're gonna roll it. You're gonna roll it. Sorry. <laughs> like a little lettuce burrito. And then you're gonna thinly slice so that it makes little lettuce ribbons, little shreds, if you will. See? Like this. I swear to God, it tastes better. Now we're gonna season our veg. I have some white wine vinegar, any vinegar that you that you like is fine. Olive oil, got some olive oil. Uh, minimal spices, minimal spices. We have just some Airbnb salt. <laughs> we have some black pepper and we have a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, cut it off, it's done toasting. Lightly, Ooh. Lightly drizzle some vinegar. You could use lemon, lime, just whatever goes with the flavor palette that you're trying to achieve with your sandwich. 
little bit of olive oil, garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. Then you're just going to mix it with your hands. Now lettuce, lettuce is a soft green, so you're not gonna need to massage for long. You're just trying to get all the seasoning on all the lettuce. But if you have something like kale, you might be going at it for a while. And I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper on my sliced tomatoes. We're ready to assemble. I'm a yellow mustard girl. So I got some yellow mustard. I'm I'm a mayo girly. Mayo gets a bad rap because people think people are just out here guzzling mayo. <laughs> it's an accoutrement. Shout out to QB Mayo. Shout out to uh, my Japanese, Japanese? Shout out to my Japanese cousins. We're gonna put some of this on there. Cheese. We're going Havarti. Um, I had never eaten Havarti cheese until I saw um, Kennedy in one of her vlogs. Well, in a lot of her vlogs, she'd be making sandwiches. She's a fellow sandwich girly. And she'd be using Havarti cheese. And I was like, I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a go. I was typically like a, like a mild cheddar type of girl. But Havarti is delicious. We're going turkey grocery store brand. Let me know in the comments if you grew up in a household that went to like the shaved deli slices counter, like the deli counter. I, I was terrified, I'm terrified. It makes me nervous. A way I'm reparenting myself is I allow myself to have more than one turkey slice. <laughs> Growing up, I always wanted to fold it <laughs> like they did on TV, like in the commercials. We're assembling. I think I wanna show you. Come down here, my hands smell like meat. We're gonna start with lettuce, then we're gonna put the meat. Come on, two and three. <sighs> yeah. Next, I'm going to put the cheese. Hit you with a, um, hit you, <laughs> hit you with a pepperoncini. You could do a pickle. You could do something pickled. It's a pickled pepper. If you thought dipping my cucumber in the dip earlier was bad, watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of those on there. It adds um, just a bite, a brightness, a vinegariness, a sourness. And then we're going to end things off with our tomato. Do you have an order of operations? What's your PEMDAS of sandwiches? Let me know. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to change. <coughs> so this is where we're at. I'm going to do one of those, do that situation, and then I'm going to cut it and I'm going to show you the cross section. Here we go. Let's go. Have you a little chippy chip? Let me show you all the chip selections we got. We got some salt and vinegar, sour cream and onion, dill pickle. That's a hit. Uh, Evelyn and Friends episode. I don't remember the episode, but you'll see to drink waterloo lemon lime this is my one of my favorite sparkling waters let me know if you want a review let's crack her open and get ready for this bite have some cheers It has all the elements that I need. The tang, the crisp, the savory, the salty, peppery. In junior high, I was known for making the little sub sandwiches really look like some, cause you gotta take your time. Yes, lunch is only 15 minutes when you're in the seventh grade, but take your time. I could turn a Texas public school sub into, into a culinary delight. Because why? I deserve. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I hope this encourages you to eat lunch. See you on the internet somewhere.